Okay, uh, here we are with uh, Bob Brooks uh, for Yellowknife Votes 2009, and uh, Bob is running uh, for council. Uh, for council, for a sixth term. For a sixth term, I was going to ask you that. Yeah. that. That's amazing. That's like, how many years is that? Well, actually, uh, I first got on council in 1991, so I've been on council si since then with a few years off for good behavior. <laughs> wow. And those were two-year terms back then, were they? Or were I they they're all three-year terms. They were three-year terms. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, the first thing we want to know is, you told us a bit about yourself, but, you know, what do you do in town and, and uh, your family and whatever you want to speak about? Sure, like I say, I've been on uh, council since 1991. Uh, I'm currently employed with the um, Industry, Tourism and Investment with the Government of the Northwest Territories as a Senior Policy Analyst. And I've been with them for eight years. Uh, my wife, Lynn Brooks, and I, we've raised uh, two daughters and 18 foster daughters. Wow. Yeah, and uh, we also are the proud grandparents of four and foster grandparents of nine. So uh, we've wow. been, uh, we know kids. <laughs> we know a lot about kids and a lot about kids' issues. So uh, we've had a lot of experience in town and also uh, you probably know that I've also been involved in a lot of different organizations over the years. I've been in town for almost 30 years now, Okay. and uh, quite a number of uh, years. I won't duplicate what you're going to put on your uh, website, but um, needless to say, let's uh, say I've been involved in so many groups that I've uh, had my fingers in all sorts of different pies. Okay, well, if we had a full hour, I'd be asking you how you go to council and manage 18 kids at the same time, but we'll, we'll leave that for another show. Five, uh, five to five and a half hours sleep a night, that's... Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the next thing we want to know is why are you running? Well, uh, actually, it almost becomes a, a way of life after a while. You know, you get used to talking to people on the street, you get uh, used to the fact that being on council, even though it's supposed to be a part-time job, it is actually a full-time, 24-hour-day job. Mm -hmm. Because whether you're in the uh, post office, whether you're in the grocery store, people want to stop and talk about uh, the issues. And I've got uh, so used to that now that uh, what I've realized in all my years on council is that the more we do to try and uh, work toward uh, bettering the city, the more we realize there is to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll find out in the campaign that there is a plethora of uh, issues out there, uh, not just one or two or three. You know, some, some people will come in with one or two issues, but in reality, uh, City Council has to deal with hundreds of issues mm -hmm. every year. Now, typically, most of them are cyclical, you know, so we get to deal with them every year or every two or three years. But uh, I know in this campaign, uh, there's probably eight, ten really big issues that uh, this present council is definitely going to have to uh, address, as well as, you know, the hundreds of other smaller issues that they get on a What do you basis. think? Is, is there any overriding issue that you think people are concerned about? Actually, there's... Uh, I, I, I could probably narrow it down to four big issues that people have been talking about on the street all the time. Uh, as you know, everybody in the world is uh, going through a somewhat economic crisis and it's uh, affecting different communities in different ways. Mm -hmm. oh, and the way it affects uh, Yellowknife, you know, typically uh, Yellowknifers uh, don't see as much as a, in a recession. You know, we're insulated a bit because we're such a large uh, government presence. However, uh, you may have uh, heard that uh, our um, unemployment rate has gone up in the Northwest Territories recently. Now, mm -hmm. fortunately, we are still the lowest uh, in Canada for the Northwest Territories, and I think Yellowknife is the, the lowest, uh, or pretty close to it. But uh, it really expresses the point that we still have to be careful about how we uh, deal with uh, uh, our economy, how we deal with uh, you know, um, things on the street, uh, so lowering the cost of living. That is basically one of the biggest issues people have said, how can we lower our cost now, of living? Now, is that going to be tied to getting people to move to Yellowknife? Well, that would, that would be a wonderful uh, offshoot. I mean, we can talk to the mines and whatnot to bring people here and stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, their number one concern has been expressed that we want to be able to afford to live here. Mm -hmm. The second one, as you know, 
there's often been uh, social issues that are uh, expressed as a concern that um, uh, uh, well uh, obviously a lot of the polls have shown that a lot of the city surveys have shown that the social yeah. issues that appear on the streets are, are a high priority that's because right because they, they said it's their number one concern mm -hmm. and the businesses have said uh, they need to find a way to deal with the homeless and we need to uh, talk about day shelters and okay. all the types of shelters uh, but there's quite a number of others okay well um, we're getting the we're getting a sign here that we got we got to shut down so thank you very much for coming in and good okay. luck in the election you're welcome thank you